I'm Jamie King, faculty at Newmont University. This is Pedro Osuna and Yang Yi. And Yang's going to help us with this Connect capstone that Pedro put together. Pedro, tell us about your capstone project. My capstone project is called Therapy Express. And what it does is it saves time and money to both patients and doctors. Because most of the people have to travel to the doctor for almost any type of consultation. And my app allows the patient to perform their therapy straight from the comfort of his home, saving all that time and money just on tra transportation. Great. Take us to the app. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and pretend I'm a patient logging out, logging in from home. And as you can see, as soon as we log in, we see a rendering of the model of the whole entire body of the patient and it tracks their movements as he moves. And right here, we see a list of exercise that the doctor has assigned to the patient. For example, if we select a particular exercise and hit quick start, to the right, we see a video that shows us exactly how to do the exercise. By taking the starting and ending position as well as those particular angles so the application will track your session if you're doing it right or wrong. Right here, you see the particular angles the doctor has assigned to you because depending on your condition, you might have different angles and different types of exercises. So as the patient starts session, he immediately sees a feedback of the angles from the right and left arm, as you can see the red dots, and the position he's currently in. Not only that, but the Kinect tracks the completed exercises. So as he completes each exercises, the score goes up. Right here you see the goal, which is the goal that the doctor has assigned, the number of repetitions you're supposed to complete, and as you keep completing those exercises, the score keeps going up. Based on those exercises, and the score goes up based on how what? based on how many you have completed. And as you can see, we can end the session. And as we end the session, it takes us back to the menu. So how can we see how we did in this particular session and trial our therapy? So as we select the exercise and hit progress, we can see a graph that tells us. Uh, how well we have done throughout our therapy. For example, it keeps track of each session, the exact date you did the session, and what score you got on it. So where did you come up with the idea for this capstone project? So when I was in high school, I played baseball since I was like five years old. And when I got to high school, I got injured to my right shoulder. So I had to go to therapy every other day so I had to drive from my house to go to the doctor. And it wasn't just the, a boring therapy, but I wasted so much time every day driving to the doctor and money because I had to pay him every other day. But so I came up with this idea that helps all the injured. It can be sports player or just any type of patient. So he doesn't have to travel to the doctor and waste time and money in transportation. He can do it from the comfort of his home. So obviously you had to learn the Connect API and interfacing with the Connect. How much work does the Connect API do for you versus how much you had to do on your own? So what I use from the API is the API allows me to get the raw data from the Connect, which the Connect uses IR sensors to detect where the body is. So I got to take that data, which comes in XYZ locations, and I have to determine where each joint was and form an actual skeleton model and take that skeleton model and draw a vector from joint to joint to actually render that particular model over time and position. Okay. How did you determine the angles? So I use uh, each vector from joint to joint and through MAD and the dot product formula I finally was able to determine the location of a particular angle based on three different joints of your particular exercise. Uh, how much programming did you know before you came to Newmont University? 
Before I came to Newman, I know I knew zero programming. I barely knew how to turn on this machine. I just used this computer for like YouTube and Facebook, basically. What's been the best part of your growth at Newman University? The best part at Newman is that it provided me with the confidence I needed, and that I'm able to learn a really difficult subject and be able to kind of master it. And I take all this. Uh, information that I learned from Newman and he helped me so I can go out to the real world and get a real job and start my own company. Who is your favorite teacher at Newman University? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, awesome capstone. Thank you very much for showing it to us.